And look at this. This is what became of a family's home after a creek spilled its banks and poured into just about every single room of their apartment. Look at that. Well, when we first told you about this, their family last night, and they were in trouble, desperate to find a place to stay while they got their lives back on track. Well, that's where Contact 7 and Sean Toll come in. The past 48 hours have been tough for Evan Bennett and his sons Skyler and Micah. Trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. We first shared their story Sunday after heavy rains flooded their apartment, ruining almost everything they owned. I think that are we ever going to get a home again? After seeing the story on Denver 7, Bennett's landlord saw the devastation and agreed to break his lease and return his deposit. But Monday, his insurance company said, Your insurance doesn't cover floods from outside of the house. It only covers things if they come in from inside the house. Bennett needs a lot of help for him and his sons to get back on their feet. He does have a troubled past and recently split from his wife, who is serving time in prison for drug charges. Everything seemed like it was really looking up for me. I had just gotten back on my feet. First, he is trying to find a place to live. I'm not going to have any furniture in my new house if I can find a place. But it's his boys. I'd like to get him new toys because <laughs> that he's most concerned about. I know all their stuff is ruined. He started a fundraiser on Facebook to raise money as well. Every time I read a post on uh, Facebook about somebody uh, trying to support me, it means a lot. And they're currently living in his mom's place in Englewood. I can't really stay there for only a couple days because it's a senior community. Which means he needs to make something happen quick so he and his boys can start fresh again. I just feel like it's one thing right after the other. Sean Toll, Denver 7. Mm, golly. And no matter how you might feel about Bennett's past, don't forget there are two little boys who also need your help tonight. So this is where you come in. Head to Contact 7 Gives on the DenverChannel.com and look for the story in the drop down menu. And if you can or are able, please donate. And we want you to know this is not a blank check. We will personally handle the payments for rent or for food or school supplies.